Kelsey and Kendra. So we're back and we haven't done a video in about a week. We just needed some time to just take a breather and take in everything that's been going on and to just be in a better place mentally before we got back on camera. Yeah. So because we didn't feel like putting on makeup. Yeah. I honestly did not feel like sitting here talking about hair related stuff, makeup related, just fashion. products in general. Yeah. I, was, I just felt like it was irrelevant. It didn't feel authentic. Yeah. I was, so I was like, we'll wait. Uh, keep putting out as much information as we possibly can. So if you guys follow us on Instagram, social media, then you've been seeing all the information that we've been putting out. Uh -huh. um, I saved a story on my Instagram page if you guys want to know more about the Black Lives Matter movement and ways you can help and incorporate. Uh -huh. So we've been donating, signing petitions, sending emails. So obviously it's a heavy time right now. I kind of don't know how to feel because on one end I'm like about damn time and then on another end I'm just like kind of feeling this heaviness recently with what's going on because not only obviously were we in this pandemic but everything has been going on with Black Lives Matter and this movement that's been going on mm -hmm. but I'm very optimistic because this is the biggest movement that we've ever had in our country yeah and I do feel like there will be a change we will see a change people will just see each other in a different way I personally feel I feel like there's more good than bad going on as far as people's awareness and i don't think that COVID 19 and this black lives matter movement i don't think that it's a mistake that they're going on at the same time i think they're going on at the perfect time because people have no choice but to, but pay, to pay, attention. pay attention yeah um and if you're unaware then you're not paying attention on purpose because there's just no way you can't know what's going on you guys know that all of this is nothing new to us, uh -huh. us meaning black people. Uh, we've been seeing our people suffer for years, a long time. This is not the first time that we have had a hashtag all over social media. Uh -huh. uh, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Aubrey are not the first of faces this. Of this? No, they're not the first faces, but they are the faces of this uprising. And I, like Kendra said, I do feel optimistic. So there have been so many more that have suffered uh, due to police brutality and just plain old hate crimes. But I know that God is always working and I know that their deaths won't be in vain because a change is coming, people. Yeah. It's already change. happening it's, right now. It's already happening right now. Yeah, You're right. Sure. I'm just glad the world is finally waking up and I just hope that it lasts and I hope that people still have the same energy weeks from now, months from now. It's going to take all of us to mm -hmm. make a change. Um, so hopefully they keep this going when it's no longer a hashtag or a trending topic. Because mm -hmm. uh, some people just do things just to jump on a bandwagon, not really realizing that they're not doing it for the right reasons. Do whatever you can. Yeah, I do whatever you can. Some people can't even afford to donate, but if you can sign petitions mm -hmm. and send emails, send emails. Calls. I know a lot of people are protesting right now. Mm -hmm. So whatever you can do that you feel like it's your way of contributing then do that and don't feel pressure to do something that someone else is doing if it's not in your means just yeah. do your part your way mm -hmm. as long as you're doing something to contribute and something that's actually going to make a real difference and like you were saying earlier you said that you hope that people's mindset was in the right place and their intentions were pure yeah and authentic and genuine i personally feel like it's all about mentality and the way you think period so yeah this Movement shouldn't just be a right now type of thing. This should be a for the rest of your life type of thing. Ongoing. So your mentality should mm -hmm. be in this space forever so that people can start to see the wrongdoings and what has always needed to change regardless. Like it shouldn't be just because it's, it's right now. Yeah. I personally feel like this is just going to be forever and things are going to get better just for the simple fact that, I mean, we're all people. We're all humans. We have to be it, live in the same world. I don't think it's impossible that people start to see things in the way that black people have been seeing it, seeing them and the way that we feel because empathy is a real thing and just because you haven't been through something or know know what it feels like doesn't mean that you should shouldn't you know have the decency to care because at the end of the day we still have to leave behind a world later on in life where ancestors and we have kids our kids have to live in this world. And that's what I always think about, yeah. So it doesn't just end with us. So whether you're protesting, donating, sending emails, signing petitions, everybody plays a vital role in creating change. We've already donated to numerous funds, the George Floyd Memorial Fund, Justice for Breonna Taylor, and Run With Mod. But if you're not able to donate, 
you can contribute just by watching this video because we are going to be donating 50% of the AdSense revenue from this video to the Gianna Floyd Fund. And that is George Floyd's daughter. She's six years old. So um, we will have a ton of links in the description box for you guys to check out and get more information on. So with all that being said, obviously by the title of the video, you guys know what you clicked on and we know why you're here. So that you can find out all of our favorite black owned brands. So we're going to just talk about each of our favorite products from those brands that we've been using for years or that have been recent favorites for us that we will continue to use. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna start with hair because that's mostly what we have here and that's yes. mostly the brands that we have been using for years are black owned hair care brands, naturally, obviously. Yeah. So the first brand we're gonna talk about is Curls. Curls is a brand that I think I've been using since the very beginning, like when I started transitioning from Relax to Natural like over a decade ago. Mm -hmm. And she was one of the brands that I saw in Target and I remember I started using, I think her Curls Goddess Gel. That was like my favorite product of hers. So it was like a jelly. It was basically in this exact same kind of bottle, but this is a newer product that I've been loving of hers. Of course it's a gel because you guys know I love gels. This is the Curls, the Ultimate Styling Collection. She has a ton of these. I think it's like four or five gels. I could be wrong. But I love the green one. This is the Be In Control Curl Sculpting Gel. And it's formulated with vitamin-packed aloe leaf juice to protect and grow your hair. So this is the Firm Hold one. I know she has a yellow one, a blue one, and I think a pink one. Isn't yeah, that? it's like light pink. Okay, mm -hmm. so the green one I, I'm obsessed with. This says no flakes and no drying alcohol. Kelsey loved my hair when I did my hair with so this. Pretty. It, I used Super like a bouncy. spray leave-in conditioner underneath and then just this. And it was very full and like it had a lot of volume but it was still very defined. And I'm obsessed with the smell of this. It smells like apples to me. By very the way, this is a clean. newer bottle because she used up one whole bottle. Yes, this is a newer one. Um, <laughs> I had two but the other one is completely empty so I that's the only downside. I kind of wish her packaging was bigger. Ooh, a pump. Uh, yeah, like a pump, like a big, you know, more industrial size. Yeah. That maybe that's just me, but I feel like I would get my money's worth with that size. And I can tell right off real, as soon as I put something in my hair, like as it's drying, I don't even have to wait until it's dry to know if I'm gonna like it. Me too. Natural hair people know. Mm -hmm. You can just tell, especially if you air dry, you know if your hair gonna turn out raggedy or cute. Yeah. You just know. <laughs> so I love this. We'll continue to purchase this. And it's very affordable. I think it's under $10, so you really cannot beat that. Here's my curls product that I wanted to mention to you guys. You guys have seen me use this before, actually many times before. Um, this is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Wash. And this is one of my favorite shampoos to use on my curly hair because it's not drying. And it cleanses my hair without stripping it. So it's easier to work with when I get ready to detangle it, like finger detangle. So I've been using this for a long time. This is probably like my sixth or seventh bottle maybe and that's actually not a lot considering how many years i've been using this but i don't use shampoo as much as like conditioner so this lasts me kind of a long time and this is a smaller bottle um i also like the matching deep conditioner that goes with this the reparative hair ma hair mask uh -huh. i think that's the name of it i'm obsessed with that so i also love that product as well so love this Okay, so the next brand is Miss Jessie's. I've been using Miss Jessie's, I think, just as long as I've been using curls, to be completely honest. So this was a brand that came out when natural hair wasn't as big as it is now. But this is one of my favorite products from them. I prefer their lotions uh, for my hair personally. This is the Multicultural Curls. I like the Pillow Soft Curls as well, but this is my favorite. I feel like it gives me enough hold and it makes my curls nice and soft because the pillow soft curls sometimes it doesn't give enough hold this is a well-rounded product um even though i use more than half of the bottle in one wash and go <laughs> so i have to like buy at least three of these at a time but it's really really good it's super lightweight but like i said it does hold your hair so i find that it defines real well very well it's yeah. kind of like a mixture between a gel and a leave-in like in a one. styling cream like a styling cream but like I said, it's more of a lotion. Oh, it says lotion on here. Best darn multicultural lotion, period. So it's excellent. Okay, so speaking of pioneer brands that first came out with curly hair products, Kinky Curly was one of my favorites. It was like one of the only products that defined my hair and made my hair actually last. Because I found that when I first started doing my natural hair, I had to do it like every other day. And this is the first brand that made my hair last more than three to four days. So Kinky Curly was... 
like my all-time favorite this is the not today leave-in so basically a leave-in conditioner and then the curling custer which is the gel i was obsessed with these still obsessed with these i feel like they're like old faithfuls they're very consistent and it always turns out great on my hair some people have like a love-hate relationship with this product especially the gel it always works well on my hair custard has amazing slip and even though it dries like hard and crunchy i feel like my hair after like I scrunch it out, it still feels very moisturizing and soft. So this is bomb. Okay, so another Pioneer brand, Mix Chicks. Um, this is their leave-in conditioner. And this is the product that basically put them on the map. So many people still use it, I still use it. The texture is kind of similar to Multicultural Curls. And I feel like that's because they both were intended for a ton of different hair types. So I really like it a lot. It makes your hair kind of crunchy when it dries, but when you scrunch out the crunch, it's so soft and super bouncy. So that's also what I like about this. It makes my hair super bouncy. And I remember when like they first came out with this, I will watch um, on their YouTube channel. This, the demos. Yeah, the demos. Mm -hmm. And this was on like a PC computer before we had a laptop. And that's, even though that's called leave-in conditioner, I feel like it's a styler. Yeah, it's a styler too. So yeah. I feel like um, it's all in one. And I usually use this when I'm in a rush because I'm a multi-product washing goer. Yeah. I'm not like a like two-product person. Yeah, like you're not very minimalistic when no. it comes to your curly hair routine. I'm not. No. No. She is. She can do like a spray leave-in and a gel and she good. Mm -hmm. Me, I gotta do a spray leave-in. I gotta do a leave-in. I gotta do a cream. I gotta do... It's too much. So when I don't feel like doing all that, I usually do these two products and I'm good to go. Together? No, separately. Oh, okay. Like I pick one or the other. I was about to say, Kelsey, you doing the most. <laughs> I pick one or the other. Oh, even though they might work nice no. together. I might have to try that. Okay, next brand is Camille Rose. So if you guys are not new to this channel, then you would probably predict that I was gonna talk about this brand. So Camille Rose is one of my all-time favorites. My two favorite products are the Curl Love Moisture Milk, which is pretty much like a leave-in conditioner, and then the Curl Maker, which is a gel that I love. So both of these together are like peanut butter and jelly bomb. They just go together so well. My hair turns out the most moisturized with this wash and go. Yes, if you right. have very dry, dry curls, mm -hmm. then your hair will love this. It will drink it up. So the moisture milk is what it says. It's very moisturizing. So I like to put this in my hair in sections and I just feel like it gets all the love that it needs. Even though I kind of go through a lot, but I feel like it's worth it because my hair lasts so long when I moisturize properly first. And then I go in with this styler, which is the curl maker, like I said. And this has marshmallow and agave leaf extract. It's a defining jelly, but it does a really good job at defining my curls. It doesn't leave flakes after. It dries really soft, and I'm, I'm obsessed. This also helps with shrinkage. This moisture milk actually has macadamia nut and vanilla. So I hardly find products with vanilla in it. So if you like sweet scented things, then you would love these. I also love their fresh curl. Yes, the fresh curl is really good. So yeah. It's like a blue cream. Yeah, it's like a blue cream. It's like in a mm -hmm. little pump. Mm -hmm. I really like that too. It's a little bit more lightweight than the moisture milk. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, speaking of Camille Rose, I also have a product I wanted to quickly share. This is one of her newer products. This is the White Orchid Cleansing Milk with White Orchid Milk and Hibiscus Powder. This came with two other ones. Uh, one is for defining, and I forgot what the other one's for. The other one, because it's like a rose one and an orange one, but I like this white orchid one the best because it cleanses my hair the best without stripping it. Again, this is another really good hair wash for curly girls who don't like to co-wash and you actually want to use a actual cleansing product. This is really good. So I've been loving this a lot. I'm almost out. I need a new one. It smells really nice too. It's like a fresh scent, but it has like a sweet fruity undertone. So I love this a lot. Okay, so next brand is Brio Geo. This is probably one of my favorite hair masks of all time. You guys have also seen me talk about this product. We're consistent over here. Obviously, we're not going to talk about nothing that don't work. So, no. this is the Real Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I love this mask. As you can see, I had to get the huge, large size with the pump because for so many years, I was getting just like the regular size tub that she has. So, I love this one. This is 32 ounces. It was kind of pricey, but so worth it. This is a really good mask if you have um, colored your hair a lot, if you have breakage, heat damage. It's really good to do like every other week. This is more for more breakage. If you're looking for something more moisturizing, then you can use a different mask. 
like another time that you deep condition, but this is like a good alternating deep conditioner. So I won't use this like two times in a row. I will use this, then something more moisturizing, and then this again. So I love the smell of these also. Some people don't really like the smell of this, but I'm obsessed with the smell of her products. It's just really clean. I don't know why. I, just, I don't like the smell either. You don't? Mm -mm. Why? Bomb product though. I, I like it. It kind of smells like water with fruit. And like, I don't know, it's just like a summery smell to me. I don't know. It smells really good to me. So comment down below if you've tried this mask and if you think it doesn't smell that great. Because I think it smells bomb. I also love her gel, her Curl Charisma line. Oh, yeah. I love the Quinoa gel. Yes, it's really good. It's super lightweight, so I go through it like water. It's, I don't know, I just go through it super fast. I actually like that one, too. It's a really good gel, but my hair don't last that long with it, but I still really like it a lot. This is the next product I'm going to mention, so this is the next brand. So this is Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. So this is also a gel, obviously. I'm that predictable. This has aloe vera and marshmallow and nettle. So this has a lot of the same ingredients that the Curl Maker does. It's very similar, but I do find that this is a little bit more, more moisturizing, moisturizing than mm -hmm. this one. But this one is just as good. It does a really good job at defining, but I love using this by itself for some reason. If I don't have a leave-in conditioner, also my favorite leave-in conditioner from this brand is the Midnight Train one. It's the spray leave-in. It smells bomb. It smells like candy, like Skittles. I will always steal it from you. I need to get my own. It's really good. Yeah. So I love this gel. It's very, like, it's like a jelly. It's not like a slimy gel, if that makes sense. It's more like a jelly, like custardy gel. Got it. Did it make sense? It sit in your hand more versus like sliding off? Yes. I love the ingredients in this one as well. For me, I, like over the years, I've been paying more attention attention to ingredients because sometimes when it comes to gel, a lot of people say, oh, this works so good, but I'm like, but what's in it? Yeah. So I always like to pay attention to that, especially considering I'm a heavy-handed product person, so I put a lot in my hair. So I like to know how much of what I'm putting in it. It has vitamin E in it, agave nectar, it has aloe juice. So I'm appreciative of good ingredients and hair products because we're all about hair health over here. But this is another one that I've been using for a long time. This is Eden Body Works. And this is their Natural Curl Defining Cream. Obsessed with this stuff. To me, this is one of their best products. And I like to use this by itself a lot. This is yeah, one of the by itself products. Yeah, this is one of the creams that I have that actually makes my washing go last. Because I'm not going to lie, most of my creams I have to add a gel to it. Um, to make it last, but this one, I don't have to add gel to it. I just use it by itself and I'm good to go. I actually did a one product wash and go with this maybe like two years ago. And it's still, you know, up there in my like top five creams because it's that amazing. Of course, it's coconut in here. Uh, it has aloe vera, leaf juice in it, shea butter, super moisturizing. I think that's why it has hold in it because of the aloe vera. I'm pretty sure that's why. I love that it comes in a nice big jar if you're heavy handed like me. That definitely comes in handy because I hate when I love a product and the packaging is super tiny. Mm -hmm. Drives me crazy. So this is 16 fluid ounces. So a lot of product comes in this. So the next brand is Ajua Beauty and it is of course a hair brand still on hair. This is her oil. This is the Biomint, Biomint oil blend. It's basically peppermint oil. Mm -hmm. It says winter mint and spearmint oils for dry textured hair. Mm -hmm. I like using this oil on my scalp because it makes it feel so cool, especially when your scalp feels super itchy mm -hmm. and you're not quite ready to wash your hair yet. Mm -hmm. This is what I like using this on. This is also a really good oil to use on your scalp if you have braids or something like that because I know if you have braids, your scalp gets super itchy. Mm -hmm. And I also like to apply this like on top of like deep conditioner. Yes, to uh, seal in the moisture. I like to deep condition with the oil on top. A lot just of the times like I the do. extra, you know, mm -hmm. hydration and the moisture, Me like too. lock it in. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good one to add to your deep conditioning routine. Mm -hmm. um, it also says it's a rich all natural growth oil blend. Um, that aids in hair growth. So this is a really good oil to use to massage your scalp, to do like scalp massages a few times a week um, to help penetrate hair growth. I like doing scalp massages like if I'm just sitting down watching TV and I'm bored. That's another good way to promote hair growth. So mm -hmm. this is one of the oils that you can use because you can't use any oil on your scalp. Right. Um, all oils are not created equal, um, but this is one of the ones that is a really, really good oil that I stand by. So try this out if you have it. I love it. Okay, and the last hair product, the brand is Myel Organics. This is the Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. 
love rosemary, mm -hmm. especially on my scalp. So I'm this not is fond of the smell of rosemary. I don't mind it. I like rosemary. It smells too herbal <laughs> to me. <laughs> but the actual ingredient rosemary is very effective. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I really, really like this a lot. This is a new jar. I always get excited when I have a new jar of something. But I've used this mask so many times. I don't have to use it with an oil. Sometimes I do, but most, most of the time I just use it by itself. Um, this is really good if you have heat damage uh -huh. as well. Anything that says strengthening is usually better to use that if you have heat damage. Protein. Because the protein is going to help rebuild the hair shaft to get the curls back going. And if your curls ain't back in like two months, just cut it off. But like I said, this is one of my favorite deep conditioners. It's super thick. Um, I prefer my deep conditioners on the thicker side yeah, me too. and not as lightweight. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like they're more effective that way and my hair is so much easier to detangle after I rinse it out. Mm -hmm. So that's also why I like a nice thick deep conditioner. It's like a real treatment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely like an actual treatment. This says leave on for 15 to 20 minutes, but I sleep with this in overnight most of the time. And if I don't sleep with it in, I leave it in for like two hours. But I also like the matching shampoo to that hair mask it's really i used good. it in my straight to curly video it's a very good clarifying shampoo so it gets rid of a lot of buildup and yeah. product overload if you like to you know over apply products like i do then the shampoo is really good to get rid of you know all the gunk and dirt okay so we're gonna switch to makeup now and we just want to start out with a very obvious one i think that's one of our favorites and that is fenty beauty fenty is literally life is everything i love more than half of the products i've tried from rihanna so first off i want to start with her bronzers Amazing. because it's very hard for women of color to find a good bronzer that actually shows up like a bronzer we're always an afterthought yeah. when it comes to bronzers mm -hmm. i'm like hello we wear bronzer too yeah like so these are her sun stalkers this is her instant warmth bronzer and i love the color mocha mommy that's my favorite one it's a darker richer like more chocolatey mocha yeah i like mocha mommy and i like to mix it sometimes with coco naughty okay they mix very well together so i love love this one it's super bomb i feel like you can bronze with it but if you like kind of concentrate on one area you can also get like more of a contour kind this of this is definitely a contour shade so it just mocha depends mommy. on what kind of brush you use i think personally yeah i love the formula of this it's not like too powdery but i also love that it's matte there's no shimmer in it because i hate when i see like shimmer on a bronzer. If I want to put on highlighter, I put it on, you know? Exactly. I just don't need it in the hollows of my cheeks. Like I don't need glitter there. <laughs> we also really love her concealers. Mm -hmm. This is her Pro Filter Concealer, Instant Retouch Concealer. Yes. And I really like the color 430. Yes, yeah. the color I like to use. Mm -hmm. It's really, really creamy, gives great coverage. Very thin texture, not really thick under the eye, so it's really comfortable to wear. But you still get the coverage you need. Yes. And I also want to mention her brow pencils, her Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. And I am in the color, what color is this? Black Brown. Oh, and a cool brush at the end. Yeah, it's not like a spoolie. It's like an actual brush. Huh. This is innovative. Yeah, cool, right? But I can't twist this up anymore. It's like, there's nothing left in here. They're super pigmented, but not too pigmented to the point where you look like you're putting on like Sharpie. Just everybody, do light everybody can't, you know, go with the light hand. I, I taught myself to go in with the lighter hand, um, but this is like one of their darkest colors and it's still not too dark, um, like Sharpie, like I said. So again, really good formulation. I'm really picky when it comes to brow pencils, y'all, because some of them make my eyebrows oily. Yeah, that's, that's annoying. True. So it's really, really good formulation. So her very last product that I'm obsessed with is her lip gloss. This is her, what do you call these? Gloss Bomb. Yeah, you're right. They're called Gloss Bombs, and this is her Fenty Glow, and this is the first shade she ever came out with. It's like a really pretty, like, terracotta, rosy tone that's very complimentary to a ton of skin tones mm -hmm. and she also recently came out with a clear gloss that looks really good like if you're not wearing makeup so i love the clear one as well but this is like bomb i'm wearing it today uh, amongst other things but i am wearing it today i love mixing this this is a good like mixing lip gloss so yeah. you can put it with any lip combo mm -hmm. and you guys know i love putting lip combos together and gloss is like my thing i prefer glossy lips over matte lips of course and this is one of my all-time favorite glosses and it's cute too i just love how pretty it is so kendra says she loves you know gloss y'all mostly see kendra wearing gloss in videos and y'all mostly see me wearing matte just because that's just what i prefer every time i wear gloss like a like a gloss with lip liner i feel like it's on on my teeth 
Really? So I haven't mastered how to not have it on my teeth. Just, you know, just because I'm constantly. That's what I'm constantly doing, though. I feel self-conscious when I wear gloss, but I like you how know, it you looks. can get lipstick on your teeth too. But matte lipstick never gets on my teeth. Oh, ever. The only time I absolutely never wear gloss is if it's like cold outside and it's windy. Yeah, that's uh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. But like I said, matte lipsticks are my thing. I've been using these liquid lipsticks for a very long time. This is Colored Rain. And I think when this brand first came out, they were mostly known for their liquid lipsticks. But now they have like mm -hmm. eyeshadow palettes. And I really, really want to buy some of her eyeshadow palettes. But I have no room. I need to make room so I can buy some because they're gorgeous. But I love her liquid lipsticks. This is in the color Tootsie. And it's a really pretty that brown? brown color. So it's like a brown maroon that's what I said. It kind of looks like a purple burgundy undertone. It's yeah. It's very fall. It's very fall. Like a fall color. But I don't have any more of them because I used them all. This is the only one that I have left. So give her liquid lipsticks a try if you haven't already. I'm pretty sure most of you have used a colored rain liquid lipstick. If not, you're kind of late. Excellent formulation. Don't make your lips feel super dry and cracked. That's one annoying thing about liquid lipsticks. The formulation for me has to be superb or else your lips are going to feel super uncomfortable uh -huh. and you don't want that so love these okay so next brand is pat mcgrath pat mcgrath i hope i'm saying that right i think it's mcgrath this is an amazing brand extremely extremely like high quality products so if you guys have never tried her products highly recommend this foundation i first want to talk about because i have never built a foundation that's this thin and has this great of coverage yeah so it's very liquidy very like water watery so very you have watery. to work fast yeah because it'll like slide, slide. Mm -hmm. but this is called the skin fetish subline perfection foundation uh and we are in the color deep 31 um oh i have deep 32 actually oh i like deep 31 um i have this foundation on today me too i like it because like kendra said it's super lightweight and it doesn't feel like super cakey on your face or heavy is comfortable it's very comfortable on the skin mm -hmm. so if you don't like the feel of makeup or you're not into super thick foundations then i would highly recommend giving this a try mm -hmm. by the way i'm obsessed with her packaging super super nice packaging love, love the pump it. really pretty love the matte mm -hmm. finish this is also like a satin finish like the formula of it's, this foundation yeah it's like not matte it's not matte and it's not dewy yeah it's like in between mm -hmm. yeah but obviously we're oily so we have to set it with powder yes this is still a really good product so if you like need just one go-to foundation you will probably love this one and i love her color selection my favorite of all her glosses i'm obsessed with the formula of these the They're smell bomb. the feel everything <laughs> so they smell really sweet but they have like a light sweet scent not too like strong and overpowering and yeah. i love the formula of these they are very opaque yes they're not a sheer kind no. of gloss the color you see in the bottle is what's going to show up on your lips yes because some lip glosses that you buy, you'll buy it because you say, I like the color that I'm seeing. And but then you, you put it on, on your lips. and it's clear. The two shades, I think we both had the same two shades. I so, so I love Flesh 6, which is like a really pretty rosy brown. You put me onto this color. I love this. So yes. hair is really great with brown lip liner. Bomb with brown lip liner. So Flesh 6 is amazing. And then this you put me on. Then I put you onto this one, huh? which also pairs Bomb with brown lip liner. This is Bronze Temptation Lust Gloss. And this and is in. really nice and shimmery and it makes your lips look fuller and like juicy, more like more plump. But you don't feel like glitter on your lips. It doesn't feel like grainy. They're no. just very fine yeah. in the formula. Mm -hmm. But you can see like the difference on your lips. I love this color too. It's kind of like Flesh 6 but a tad bit, bit lighter. More peachy. More peachy and then of course it has like the little sheen yeah. and shimmers in it. Mm -hmm. So love both of these. I'm actually also wearing these today. So, weirdly enough, I put on three lip glosses today because I'm nuts. <laughs> okay, so next, moving on to body products. Um, we just have one to mention because I'm obsessed with this brand. This is the LV Body Butter, mm -hmm. and this is the Girls' Night Out scent. This is my favorite. It's my favorite scent. It smells amazing. Her body butters are something that I've never seen before. They're very one of a kind. They're like whipped. Yes. Like whipped body butter? They start out as a butter and when you warm it up, they it turn into an oil. Yes. So it's so like nice. a two-in-one, even though I do have her oil and I mentioned it Love in my oils. hygiene routine and I've used it in another video. I've used it many times before, but I love her body butter because like I said, it's a two-in-one. So mm -hmm. you get the thickness of a body butter, but you get like the easy rubbing of an oil. Mm -hmm. So that's why I really like it. It's 100% 
organic, natural. It. it smells like cotton candy, mm -hmm. like cotton candy and perfume mixed together kind of a little bit. This is a smaller jar. I travel with this one. I just I actually just ordered the bigger one. Yeah, I ordered three. I ordered two body butters and I also ordered her body oils. So two of those as well. And the Girls Night Out scent. Girls Night Out is my favorite. Social Butterfly is also really nice, but it's more floral. Floral. Girls mm -hmm. Night, Night Out is more sweet. sweet. So I love it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I mentioned this, I think, three years ago in a favorites video. And I have not stopped using it since. One of my favorite, favorite body products ever. Okay, so last but certainly not least is skincare and the brand we're going to be talking about is Shani Darden. I discovered Shani Darden on YouTube when I was watching skincare routines and just looking up uh, facials because I used to like see people get facials and I saw Shay Mitchell go to her. She's an esthetician in I think Beverly Hills, California. She's a really knowledgeable esthetician and I trust mm -hmm. all her information. She's very, very informative i just love yeah. her instagram i love going on her website and just reading about all the products that she has but the older i'm getting the more i'm getting into skincare i find and i love that i discovered her products yeah she and also does kelly Rowland's facials yes yeah, she does kelly Rowland's facials mm -hmm. and kelly has impeccable skin She's so, so I pretty like yeah i'm gonna try that but even before i realized that she was doing uh kelly's um facials i already started to research what she was recommending. Mm -hmm. And the first product I ever got from Shani was this Saki Toning Essence. So toner is a step that I feel like I've always used, but it has always been like a drying step. So whether it's witch hazel or like something mm -hmm. with salicylic acid in it, I felt like my toning step was kind of drying. And this is like the most hydrating, but still effective balancing toner I've ever used. So it has Saki in it, this is basically like it says a toner and an essence in yeah water. i was gonna say because um it doesn't feel like a plain regular toner. it's not watery because when i put it in my hand because sometimes i use a cotton pad but when i use a cotton pad i feel like i'm wasting it mm -hmm. so i like to put it like in my hand and then pat it all over my face before i'm going with um my adapalene gel pad. or my serum um but i really like this um like Kendra said because it doesn't dry out your skin it actually um, feels really soothing very soothing i actually replaced this with my witch hazel you guys saw me use my witch hazel in my skincare routine because mm -hmm. that is just what was working for me for a very long time and i wanted to use something very simple and most toners that aren't witch hazel they have like extra fragrance in it and stuff yeah stuff that your skin really doesn't need i have very reactive skin mm -hmm. so i always get nervous to try things like toner so that's mm -hmm. why I, like i had been using witch hazel for so long and then kendra kept talking about this toner and i was like okay fine yeah. i'll try it and this is like my third one this is i'm still on my first one i've been using this for the past two months and i have to say i'm obsessed with it it has um niacinamide in it and that's a really really good ingredient it has so many benefits yeah. great for brightening it helps with dark spots yes also um pores helps with pores i also noticed that i get less oily when i use this this toner is meant for oily skin oh okay, so perfect. if you have oily skin and you're looking for a toner this is really good love it it does have a slight fragrance but not too strong because like i said i hate like perfumey smelling skincare products i, can't do it. I just think it's unnecessary yeah um, so yeah this has replaced my witch hazel like i said so on the days i'm not using my um obaji salicylic acid toner because i still like to keep that in twice a week because mm -hmm. it keeps the breakouts you know away away i use this like five days a week and i'm obsessed so next product that we love from Shiny Darden, this is a newer product that I've been trying from her, but I can't wait to see like more results from using it. I've so, already seen them because I've been using it for a month. Yeah, she's been using it longer than me, but this mm -hmm. is Shiny Darden's Retinol Reform. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are not familiar with Retinol, Retinol is an amazing product. It's actually been around for years. And I'm surprised that more people don't talk about it, especially if you have problematic skin, like if you have breakouts, texture, dark spots, hyperpigmentation. It's basically like an all-in-one solve your problems product. product. Retinol is a hero product. Yeah, if you just wanna get rid of all your products and just cleanse your face, put this on in a moisturizer, then you will still have a solid skincare routine, I promise you. Yeah. We're just product junkies, so we like to add like hyaluronic acid serums and extra stuff. <laughs> uh, but this retinol reform is really good. I've tried a number of retinol serums, and by far, this is my favorite. First of all, I love how my skin feels after applying it. It feels really tight. 
glowy. Love the texture. It's like a very soft, silky texture. Mm -hmm. The one I was using before was from Zo Skin Health, which is a the Obaji brand. Mm -hmm. It feels like a primer, and I was like, really? I don't like how this it feels. probably had silicone in it. Oh yeah, it probably had silicone. And I was like, it's a retinol product, but I don't like how it feels on my skin. So I switched over to this, and I just love the way it feels. Mm -hmm. So this, I like the smell. Is a really really nice retinol. So if you guys are looking for one, I'm not gonna lie, retinol is not cheap. It's not a cheap ingredient, it's but it's the price, so though. worth it. Mm -hmm. That I feel like your skincare routine doesn't really need anything else besides moisturizer. And of course, cleanser. Wash yeah. your face, obviously. Please. Uh, yeah, I like to use this um, like two or three times a week on the days that I'm not using my Adapalene gel. Yeah, I use a, a uh, which retinoid, is, which is re prescribed retinoid. Um, so on the days I'm not using that, I like to still use this to yeah, make sure my skin is, you know. Turning over? Yeah, turning over, getting that cell turnover. turnover. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I like to uh, keep this in my routine on the days I'm not using that. Before you try this, I will recommend please not even recommend i will order you to please use sunscreen in the daytime this is yes. a nighttime product you should only use retinol at night mm -hmm. but sunscreen should definitely be used in the daytime if you're going to use retinol also you don't want to use this every day because your skin might not react well to it like it might be a little over like sensitized or so peel peel and react weirdly so retinol reform is good if you have acne prone oily skin if you have more sensitive skin she has one called texture reform that's uh a derivative of retinol so it's like a more gentle gentle retinol mm -hmm. than this one so if you have sensitive skin then try this texture reform and if you have dry skin too i heard the texture reform was better but if you have acne prone oily skin the retinol reform is for you. You can use it every day. You just have to build a tolerance. Build for a tolerance. Start using so it like just start twice using a week. it like twice a week, and then and after two weeks, times. do three times a week, then four, and then so on. Yes. So and, yeah. Yeah. Eventually, start using it every day, but, but don't start. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend starting out using it every no. day because your skin might not react well to it because it is an active ingredient. Yes. Okay, guys. So that wraps up this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description box for. All of these brands as well as other links that you can check out to help contribute to the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. And also, make sure you guys, especially during this time, are taking time away for yourself and your mental health. Because that is very, very important. Do not neglect your mental health. Especially during times like these, you need to stay sane. So if you need to step away from your phone, hide your phone. I've been having to do that. Me too. Because it can get overwhelming. It so. consumes me. I'm Absolutely. the type of person, like when I read sad stories, I have like dreams about it. I can't stop thinking about yes. it for days. You're an empath. It's so okay. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah. So I have to step away from my phone a few hours a day. Like I'll be on my phone for like one hour and then I just put it away. Yes. Because I literally cannot take it. It drives me crazy. Step away from your phone. If you need to watch your favorite movie, TV show, read yes. a book, mm -hmm. just unplug. Pray. Please pray. Mm-hmm. They lift it up in prayer. Yes. Especially if you're out protesting, be safe. Yes, be safe. Wear your hand sanitizer, mask. your mask. You know, be safe, keep each other safe, and just, you know, be kind to everyone. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. We hope you get to try some new products that we have been obsessed with, and we hope that you love them and they work for you. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one.